So this is a confession. Confession? Yeah. This is a confession story. Um, it's not a rant. <laughs> about how I feel about Instagram and marketing on Instagram. artists disenfranchised by Instagram. Why? Number one, I find that a lot of things on Instagram are really perfected. You know, like I find that even artist studios, pictures of them are like organized and pretty and like they have like, Oh, a I branding. know I see that too. I'm like, wow, you really, how do you work like that? Yeah, like, you know. You don't. It's obvious. Of course, I'm sure there's some freakishly, freakishly uh, organized artists, but that, those clean, like really nice Dude, lighting. Have, have you like, seen pictures of Francis Bacon's studio? No, it's I haven't. Disgusting. No. We've gained this perception of Instagram to be this beautiful thing where we need to make this perfection and show this like catered, curated feed of like things that you know are happening in our lives. But so, life is not pretty. So your real problem with the Instagram uh, platform right now is just that it's losing its authenticity? Yes, I would absolutely. Like, you but know, stories aren't. The Instagram stories and IGTV you um, resonate yes. with. People that are promoting how to how to use Instagram are creating this formula for you and like it's like how to how to curate your feed. You know, you can do Too apps. scripted. Yeah, you can do apps that are like Planoli, right? Where you can just have this beautiful feed and you have these beautiful captions that like ins inspire everyone. It's just like inspiration constantly in your face, right? But then, you know, they created stories and stories are kind of, you know, people are becoming less interested in the content and more interested in the stories, right? Because number one, there's video. Number two, you can't you can't spend hours a day trying to find the perfect picture for one post. You just need to video as things are happening, right? So like a lot, for example, a lot of my Instagram stories are things I cook because I'm like, well, today, the only thing I was able to do creatively was make these awesome tacos and that's what I'm gonna talk about. That's more than what I can say. I'm like, wow, Melanie cooks, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and also, you know, it makes me human. Like, I'm not just an artist creating creating paintings nonstop. My intent as an artist is to record, document, remember who I am as a human, right? Like, art, it, the reason why we have art is to show our humanity. And so Instagram stories kind of start have started doing that. The thing is, is that a lot of people are afraid of, um, afraid of video, afraid of stories. They think they're kind of nonsense. And um, so then they just continue using, you know, their feed, which is fine. Or you know? like the people are afraid to go live on Facebook because they're like, well, what if I say something or I can't edit it or whatever. At the end of the day, the way that you use Instagram, the way that you use branding, it should Wait, be- why'd you put branding <laughs> <laughs> I put, I put branding in quotations Branding's because... Branding is a real thing. <laughs> branding is a real thing, but I find that the way that people are using Instagram is branding, right? Because it's it's branding as a formula versus who you are as a formula, right? But by saying that, are you associating branding with something that's inauthentic? Because branding can be authentic. I find that Instagram branding is inauthentic. In regular general. Regular branding is authentic if you do a good job at it. I was telling you earlier about my mom that who who has um, <laughs> I like to talk about moms like my best friend <laughs> but she's got she's a unit uh, she's a unit manager at like a hospital and they have this whole big corporate thing sent out where you know she does um, pregnancy postpartum labor delivery stuff like that and so to build up that department their marketing um, corporation like a, you know a corporate headquarters they're doing this um, YouTube series and they're not putting their brand on it they're not saying like go buy this at this website like or go sign up to have a baby at this hospital like they're calling it anti-branding and I was like mom like anti-branding is just how they're marketing it to you in in millennial world like um, not putting your name and links and logo all over everything is just good branding I think either people that are um, maybe using in Instagram inauthentically or trying to get it to translate into sales sooner. You're 
marketing is not number one inspiring me it's not making me feel like i'm seeing you as a human it's not making me feel like i'm looking at something that's pretty if anything it's making me feel like i'm getting shoved content in my mouth constantly when i look at my feed now if i see three or four friday introductions from the same user i'm like roll eye like i've been following you for 200 years I'd rather not learn that your favorite color is purple for the third time. Like, that's just not going to happen for me. It's annoying. Please tell me you something else. You don't know about the different reasons why purple is that person's favorite color? <laughs> no, I don't. I so don't. what do you want then out of the Instagram? What do I want? I want, I, you know, beautiful content is fine, but I want you, I want authenticity. You know, I want your narrative. I want your journey. I want to see. So see you want to see experience. you vulnerable. I want, want to see you yes. crying. Vulner <laughs> Maybe if crying. If you're not crying on your Instagram stories, what are you doing? <laughs> she might have crying on it's, her Instagram. It's cathartic. I'm not getting on there anymore, guys, till so, it gets better. I actually feel more optimistic about this because when I see people fucking up their Instagrams by being in inauthentic and being like so super curated to the point where people are like, how can I attain this level of perfection? My studio doesn't look like that. My life doesn't look like that. There's not that much marble flooring around me. There, you know, like I'm, I'm not in Bali twice a month. Like <laughs> it's just how, like, you know, they're not relating to that. So when I see people fucking that up by, um, being unrelatable, I'm like, great. I, I see it more as like uh, like a, an opportunity, you know, to be able to, to do better. Like to, if we right. can see the flaws in it, that's an opportunity for us. Right, so, yeah, I'm yeah. Like, great. Use your stories and that's about the end of that. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna end it on that. Ending it on that note, I'm watching guys, I'm watching. You're not watching because you're disenfranchised. <laughs> That's right. I'm not watching. All right. We will see you guys in the next video. Melanie, thank you for your rant and thank you for your constructive criticism. And hopefully we can all use it to our advantage. And Mark Zuckerberg, request, make it better, please, for all of us. <laughs>